everybody, this is Ashley and Kaino, that metaphysical chick, and welcome to your daily Tarascope forecast for Monday, the 29th of April. Happy Monday! It's going to be a good week. I can feel it. I can feel it as I'm shuffling the cards here right now. So let's tune in. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold still and see what the energy is for the collective for today. And I feel like on the Mondays, it's not just the energy for the Monday. It sort of gives us an insight into the whole week as well. So, hey, we've got the love going on already here. As usual, this is a general reading. There's no individual cards being pulled here. If you would like a private reading, just click the link in the description. Other than that, let's have a look and see what's going on. Happy Monday. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Brandy. Rosa. Cecia. I think I've got it right this time. Let me know. Did I pronounce it correctly? I'm trying my best here. All right. Let me tune into the energy of the collective for today. <clears throat> okay. So we have the High Priestess. I love getting that card. Um, the Ten of Earth. And... The Queen of Fire. I knew it. I knew this was a badass week and it was a badass day in general. Hi, LaTanya. Woo! Okay, so overall energy of today. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, fulfillment. Like really trying to, trying to get a sense of completion and fulfillment when it comes to your material world, your physical world, your home, family life, your finances, your stability, your security. Really like using your inner guidance to get yourself to that place where you're feeling like, yes, life is good. And just really like unleashing your confidence and your creativity and all of that stuff to get you there basically. Okay. We're feeling the love today. I love it. All right. So let's dial in. We have the high priestess. It says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. So she is like, the badasseriness of the tarot. She is like just intuition in like physical form, if you want to say. She knows. She has her own inner guidance and she follows it. She's very intuitive. So I feel like what I'm getting from this message today is if there's something that you've been really like wondering about or have fears or anxieties about, something's worrying you, you're trying to make some kind of decision. It really could be anything. You're being really called to listen to the gut, to listen to your intuition, maybe rather over your head or your heart. Your head could be freaking out with fears. Your heart could be feeling broken. And like whenever we feel broken and desperate, like that doesn't lead us to do good decisions either. You're being called to step back with any situation in your life right now and look at it from your higher perspective and really ask, is this for my highest and greatest good? Am I really helping myself here? Is this serving me? Or am I just giving into my emotions? Am I just giving into like my fears and not wanting to lose someone or something okay so it's really important today to really set the tone for this week by aligning yourself for like what is in your highest and greatest best in the long run and that's why it's saying consider carefully what you want before acting maybe there's a temptation to get back together with someone that maybe you have amazing feelings for but maybe overall it's not great for you in the long run maybe it's a bit torturous maybe um it could be something to do with a work situation your health, whatever it is, you're being called to just really think before you act because we get pulled to act sometimes very impulsively due to our emotions or due to like our thoughts. They might be going really fast and we just kind of go, oh, F it, and we jump in and we could end up like hurting ourselves. So it's saying today, like seriously, just listen to your intuition, have a little bit more patience, slow down. If it's meant to be, it won't pass you by. Okay, if it's meant to be, it won't pass me by. If it's meant to be, it won't pass me. Just keep saying that, okay? That's what keeps you aligned. That's what keeps me aligned as well whenever I'm freaking out and stressing out over things. So here with the 10 of Earth, for me, this really shows like a little complete and content family. Um, the goal that we all aim for when it comes to our family life, we want completion. We want security. We want stability. <coughs> Excuse me. We want to feel like, Oh, yes, I've done it. I've attained it. So there's this feeling here of maybe this is your goal. Maybe you're trying to patch things up. Maybe like you're nowhere near this goal and it's what you want. Overall, it's letting you know like, look, if you're trying to get to this place of feeling true satisfaction and true completion in your home and family life, 
then you have to really stop living so impulsively and maybe not making such good decisions that are based just off pure emotion, but really, like I said, tuning into your higher awareness here. Maybe there's someone not so good for you, you just keep going back to, and it's never going to lead to this ultimate fulfillment in the stability and security that you want, just for an example, right? So it's saying here that this is what we want, then we have to really tune into our higher awareness and call upon the guidance that we need like ask for guidance ask for help don't be afraid to ask for your angels and guides to step in give them permission like because you have free will you have to give them permission to show you the way um also this can be um your finances too your physical world your health all of that kind of stuff but i feel this is really relationship based today um can be with a hint of work though as well and career because with the queen of fire i love her she's just so passionate and she's just so independent and she just knows herself right and she's not afraid like <laughs> she is like it says here stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself assert your independence and creativity so she's really not afraid to step into her power and i feel like that's what this is about sometimes like we're stuck in these old patterns that we're like afraid to like change anything even though we want this and this is the goal we're afraid to like step outside of our comfort zone and take the risks that we have to to get there that might require being alone for a while first to find the right person whatever it is like you have to be confident you have to step into your own power listen to your own like heart and be courageous and go after what you want and she's very much about creativity she's very much about confidence she's warm she's loving she's passionate she's sexy so like if your mission is to get like here basically to get to this place of just feeling independent and badass and confident in yourself then you have to really lean into your own high priestess your own inner guidance and kind of stop making bad decisions based off fear <coughs> excuse me i've had this call for like four weeks it got really bad then it got better and now it just won't leave um okay let me see what am i being called to let's pull an angel message so i think the overall message from all of this is like to unleash your creativity to unleash loads of passion in your life and really feel fulfilled ultimately it's really listening to your inner guidance even doing a lot of meditation calling upon your guides doing what you can to lean into your spirituality and allow that to really guide you the right direction <coughs> excuse me base chakra choose only positive thoughts to describe your home career and finances as your words determine your outcome so i really feel this sense of stability and security that's what the tan of earth is about your finances setting up a secure family life it really comes down to getting your thoughts in the right place, getting them balanced. So no more bad affirmations, no more, sorry, <coughs> no more, no more feeling like you can't have the love of your life or this is my pattern. It's just really realigning yourself and knowing your worth and steering away from what no longer serves you. The old patterns that you keep falling back into, it's steering away from them. Um, let me see anything else I think that's it I'm not being called for any more cards you guys so <clears throat> pretty basic message if you want to get to your Mecca your goal it's really coming down to listening to your gut and your intuition and sort of ignoring all these like sudden urges to come from your mind and your heart it's gonna take strength and willpower it's going to take courage, but you're going to end up feeling so fulfilled and so much happiness with your home and family life. So only positive affirmations and positive thoughts moving forward. Yay! Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's reading, and I look forward to bringing your reading tomorrow.